Good morning children, let us recall what you have learned in the previous lesson. Do you still remember the major directions? What are these? Before we start our lesson, let us first read a rhyme. The title of the rhyme is Maps, Signs, and Symbols by Rotilia S. Alcantara. And familiar places learned from you, I want to see them and their people too, but which to go I don't know. What will I use to find the two? Reading maps, signs, and symbols are good guides for me and you. Interpreting them will surely do to see unfamiliar places I want to go. Now, let's answer some questions about the rhyme. Where does the child want to go? What will help him to go to these unfamiliar places? This is a compass rose. A compass rose tells direction on a map. N stands for North, S stands for South, E stands for East, W stands for West. This is a map. A map is a drawing of a real place. It helps you tell where places are located. To be able to interpret a simple map, let us answer this exercise. Using a compass rose, we can see that the rowboat is on the east of the campfire. The answer is east. Using a compass rose, we can see that the camping trailers are on the north of the tents. The answer is north. Using the compass rose, we can see that the cabin is on the west of the tents. The answer is west. Using a compass rose, we can see that the campfire is on the south of the camping trailer. The answer is south. Now, answer activity 1 and 2. In interpreting simple maps in unfamiliar places, use the compass rose direction north, south, west, east, and the key map. 